Tonight, after the Australian Swimming Championships, get set for glitz, glamour and excitement when Steve Martin hosts the 75th Annual Academy Awards. This program brought to you by Chandler's. We stand behind the product we sell. Hello and welcome to Extra. Good to have you with us. Coming up tonight, a warning for do-it-yourself home renovators after a house falls down. Also, Brisbane proving it's no longer a country town when it comes to designer fashion and style. And the local family taking up the challenge to swap roles and put the kids in charge. I'm worried that um, no one's going to have clean clothes, uh, we're all going to be eating baked beans and spaghetti and the house is just going to be a total mess. First tonight, they say if you want a job done properly, it's best to do it yourself, but that's not always the case. Tingalpa homeowner Jonathan Gutke was renovating his old Queenslander when it literally collapsed, destroying most of the family's possessions. And as Lexi Hamilton-Smith reports, it's prompted urgent safety warnings that too many home renovators are working without professional advice. He wanted to do it himself, restump and rebuild the old family home and turn it into a picture of beauty. Get as much advice as you can get. It's lucky no one was hurt. You're watching Extra still ahead tonight, swapping family roles. The kids take over the parents' jobs and the lessons we can all learn. And after the break, the hospital secrets to easing pain and worry and make happier patients. Tonight on National 9 News. Rising war toll as allies confront stiff resistance and Iraq parades American prisoners. Peace themes paraded at the Oscars. Celebrating our record World Cup triumph. Then on a current affair. Saddam's prisoners of war, sheer terror, relentless torture, their shameful suffering at the hands of Iraqi captives. Plus Ricky Ponting on our World Cup win. Queensland's leading hour of news and current affairs from 6 o'clock on 9 the five-minute quiz to tell you if you're in trouble. I spend with my limits. Life has been way, <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> way above the limit. And what couples can do to fix the problem. That story on Extra tomorrow at 5.30. News is next up with all the latest from Iraq. Until tomorrow from all the team here at Extra, have a good night. With Bruce Page and Gillian Whiting, this is National 9 News. Allies run into heavy resistance as Iraq parades American prisoners. It's Nicole's hour as she takes the Oscar. Australia's record World Cup triumph. Good evening. Good evening. It's been the bloodiest day of fighting so far in the war with Iraq. Up to 17 Americans and two Britons have been killed and at least five US soldiers taken captive. While the bombing campaign continues in Baghdad, fierce battles have raged in Najaf, Nazaria, Basra, Umkasa and on the Alfor Peninsula. Australian commanders say our forces are heavily involved but all are safe. The race for Baghdad has exposed the coalition to danger. Michael Usher begins our coverage. Well, the aggressive race for Baghdad has now exposed the coalition to ever-increasing danger, as well as mounting resistance as they approach the capital. The rear is not secure. In Hollywood, Mark Burroughs, National 9 News. Just ahead, a woman charged with pretending to be a doctor. And a flamboyant stockbroker faces court. Being acquitted. Acquitted. Confident of being acquitted. Acquitted. If convicted, Mr Rivkin faces a maximum jail term of five years. He's pleaded not guilty. Sport now with Wally, the Aussies' World Cup wonders again. For a record third time, Bruce, the cricket's next. And all kinds of sharks menacing the Broncos. It's pretty nerve-wracking, especially when that uh, big Coming up, Saddam's prisoners of war. This war is unjust. Plus the new treatment using Botox to, to cure early, migraines. And Australian captain Ricky Ponting on that World Cup win. A current affair after the news.
Raikkonen's win was his first. Australian Mark Webber in the Jaguar failed to finish. Oh, maybe next time. Maybe next time. Thanks, Will. The weather is next. Then the country school rejoicing over rain. Good evening. On the weekend, we continued to see some uh, good falls of overnight rain, but today was dry through most of southeast Queensland. The only exception was a few brief showers around the Sunshine Coast. And looking just a little bit further into the week, there won't be any significant change, just the continuation of mostly fine days. At the moment in Brisbane, it's 23 degrees. The humidity is 64% and the barometer is 1,017 and rising. Today's temperatures now, the Gold Coast had a mild 20 to 27, 18 to 27 in Logan, Ipswich 17 to 29, Brisbane City uh, 20 to 28, that uh, maximum right on average. Bayside reached 27 degrees, Redcliffe 21 to 27, Caboolture 18 up to 28 and it was 20 to 27 for the Sunshine Coast. Now there's not a lot of uh, cloud to show you tonight on the satellite photos, just a few showers and isolated thunderstorms happening around uh, northern New South Wales. And uh, that area, the Brisbane Valley, is looking tremendous uh, compared to last year when it was very, very dry. Looking beautiful and thank you for the invite. Looking great there, isn't it? Thanks, John. Updating the Iraqi war, Syria is reporting an American missile has hit a Syrian bus, killing five passengers. And Saddam Hussein has just appeared on television, delivering an address to the nation described by Iraqi TV as an historic speech. He's praised glorious Iraqis for their heroic deeds against the invaders and says he won't seek a ceasefire. Uh, in a dilemma. They are in, a, in trouble now. Hit them and strike them, you Mujahideen heroes. The broadcast lasted 25 minutes. That's how it is this Monday. See you tomorrow at 6. Good, Good night. night. Hello, I'm Ray Martin. Welcome to another week of A Current Affair. In these troubled times, good news today. Actually, it's great news. That's because we have two reasons to celebrate. Reason number one, our Nicole takes home the Oscar. And reason number two, our cricketers take home the World Cup. We'll be speaking with a, a jubilant Ricky Ponting just a little later. But first, she did it. Nicole Kidman won the Academy Award for Best Actress for her starring role in the movie The Hours. And here's how it happened. And the Oscar goes to... All righty. By a nose, Nicole Kidman. That's all from us tonight. Just quickly, a reminder that we would love to hear your views. Just drop us an email. The address again, aca at nine.com.au. Of course, a letter, a phone call will accept it. See you tomorrow night. Good night. This